Hey, what's up YouTube? It's Dominic from the Primetime Treasure eBay store and YouTube channel. I wanted to do a be on the lookout video for you, a bolo video on an item that you may pass up if you see it at a garage sale or an estate sale. And I want you to be aware of it because it could result in significant profit for you. This has to do with these items back here, which are called box cameras. They're vintage cameras. Now, if you're a millennial or generation Xer and you grew up with traditional looking cameras like you see nowadays, you might not realize that cameras back in the day used to look like this. They, and some of them did. They were called box cameras. Uh, and obviously they're named box cameras because they're shaped like a box. Now this one I literally just sold and I'm going to pack it up after this video, sold it for $50. I purchased it for less than a dollar as part of a giant collectibles haul, uh, that I obtained about six months or so ago. So, um, uh, obviously good profit on it and it is cheap to ship because it is pretty light. Um, it's you know, going to probably just wind up going out first class. So this one is in really good shape. This particular one is Kodak. Kodak is really one of the main brands you want to look for. They're uh, highly collectible and really sought after. Uh, let me get this out of the glare here so you can see the sticker there. This sticker came with it when it came out. This is a 1930 uh, anniversary edition. So this is the 50th anniversary edition. It's the Kodak's, uh, Kodak box camera. And basically they made around 500,000 of these and they gave them out to kids. Uh, around that time or around 12 years old to get them using Kodak and uh, hopefully that you know their goal was you know, just kind of marketing it uh, you know getting the kids used to using the, the camera so that hopefully they would be more likely to you know to use the Kodak brand in the future so you now that's what they were doing you know it's funny they're doing those kind of giveaways and promotional things back then they're still doing them now uh, you know key to these would be what type of camera it is in terms of value how old it is and what condition it's in now this one is in really good condition this is leather and the leather you could see is not cracked in any way it still has a nice color a nice tan to it there's no ripping no damage there's no there's no um blunting on the edges at all the sticker still in good shape a lot of these you'll find the sticker faded off or peeled off damage to the leather the strap might be missing here you could see the strap is still there it's in really good shape the clips are nice and you know they still have a nice gold color on them um, you know sometimes you'll see them and they're black and dirty and stuff like this now the thing to know about these box cameras is that they do open up because that's how you get the film in there so uh, there's different ways that they open up and you have to be careful not to break them that's one of the biggest mistakes people make when they get these is they break them when they try to open them I'll show you how easy it can be to break it now what normally uh, happens here is these things are kind of clipped on to the side so there's a clip here so you would push the clip up and you would open it like this and then on the top here there is another clip so we'll just push that up and pull it to the side so now the clips are free so the average person's gonna be able to figure that out even if they don't know anything about cameras and then they're gonna say okay well now I just got to pull this thing open it looks like it should open and say what the heck why is it open so they stick uh, you know plier uh, not pliers but uh, screwdrivers in there and, and try ripping it and pulling it out and then they eventually break it okay there's usually a, a, another method that you have to do to separate the box. Sometimes there's, a, you know, you have to squeeze both sides of it and apply pressure to both sides and then it will pull out. This particular one has a little spinning dial on the side that you, you also, uh, you twist it and you pull it out. So now you can see that it's pulled out. And now that I do that, now it's going to come out and separate. And so uh, you know, then you can take nice pictures of inside the box in which it looks nice. And you'll find copyright dates on here and year dates on here. Now, this is a copyright date. It's not the year that it was made. It says 1916. Uh, but uh, what you will find when you open up uh, some of the other ones is you will actually find the date that it made, that the camera was made inside. So opening it up is key. That's where all the information is located. So you do need to try to find a way to open it up. But if you don't know how to open up there are uh, a lot of vintage camera groups on Facebook where I suggest you just go in post your camera and ask someone who's a professional in this area or a collector how you get it open because once you break it now it's going to be worth less so you don't want to break it 
Uh, I have actually first started getting into these types of cameras last year when I went to a garage sale and I wound up getting there a little bit late because I had to go to one of my kids uh, basketball games in the morning. So I showed up and a whole bunch of people had already gotten there and um, there was a garage and then there was basically um, a, a trailer truck that was opened and anyone could walk in there and get what they want and sitting right in the front was a little brown satchel, which some of these come in protective cases. And everyone just kind of passed it up. I don't know why, I guess they just didn't realize what it was. So um, I opened it up and looked and saw it was a box camera in there. Now this guy's prices were ridiculous uh, on, on almost everything else that he had in there. In fact, the only thing I wound up getting was the camera. I remember he had like a little Boy Scout identification card. I asked him how much it was, he said 20 bucks, which wasn't even, anywhere worth close to $20. So uh, then I asked him how much the box camera was and he said $15. I said, okay, I bought it for $15 and I literally sold it for $170. So since that day, I've been hooked on box cameras anywhere I could find them. Uh, you see, I have another box camera right here. This is not made by Kodak. That other one that I sold for 170 was made by Kodak. And I only realized that it came from 1909 when I opened it up and saw inside the inscription. So uh, this one is made by a company called Ansco. I have not yet taken the time to look this up. I just took it out. It's another one that I grabbed from that collectibles hall. So, you know, do a little research on them and then you'll figure out how to price them. So uh, if you wind up seeing... Um, uh, box cameras, pick them up. And if you wind up selling one because you saw this video, come back to it, drop a comment down below, make sure you hit the like button, let me know. Also, I'm not an expert on vintage cameras. So if you are and there's information you wanna share about it, please share it down below. Uh, I'd love to see what you have to say. I read all the comments. So please make sure you drop a comment down there. Make sure you stop by my Facebook group, the Facebook Reselling Resource Center, where you'll see all sorts of great tips uh, for reselling to help you make money. Also, make sure you hit that uh, treasure chest right up top there. Uh, that will help you subscribe to the channel. Uh, at this moment, I am one away from 100 subscribers. So get me to 100, or if I am at 100 when you get there, get me over to Hum so we could get to 200. Thanks, everyone. I appreciate you coming by and checking out the videos and spread them out so other people see them as well. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.